Hello all, this is Sibin from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we are going to be explaining about configuring a data build tool scanner in CDGC. Moving to the agenda slide. These are the agendas for today's meeting. What is DBT and supportability prerequisites for the scanner and object extracted through the scanner and steps to configure this DBT scanner in CDGC and followed with the demo. Data build tool. What is a data build tool? Why do we need it? It's an open source ELT tool. Extract, load, transform. First it will be load to the load the data, then only it will transform it. And it is frequently used in data engineering workflows to create data pipelines, transform data, and manage data workflows in an organized version control manner. And with this DBT, anyone who knows how to write SQL select statement has the power to build models, write tests, and schedule jobs to produce reliable, actionable data sets for analytics. And in dbt, the manifest.json file is the source of truth. So this manifest file will be used in our dbt scanner to fetch the models and seed and all the metadata extract metadata information. Moving on to the next slide. Supportability. So as of 2024-04 version, dbt core version supported is 1.7 onwards and only tech preview is supported in this version now once you start the scanner you will be able to extract only the model and the seed file from the manifest file we upload to the secure agent and no live connection to the dbt it means we do not want to create a separate connection in the administrator console like other scanners instead we need to place that manifest file into the secure agent and from that manifest file we'll be fetching the complete metadata out of it okay. as per the current design we can scan only one manifest file at a time in terms of connectors supported these are the list snowflake oracle autonomous database redshift postgre microsoft azure synapse microsoft fabrics okay moving on to the next slide models and seed file as i mentioned in the previous slides we can extract only the model and seed file from the dbt projects model and seed are two different types of files with the format of .sql and .csv model file will be having a .sql format and seed will be having a .csv format whatever the sql query we use to perform the data transformation will be written inside this model file so once you run this model the value for the compiled becomes true and then only our scanner can fetch the metadata to cdgc this this compiled option you can confirm in the manifest file by just searching this keyword compiled in it in the data governance and catalog we could see the calculation expression for the dbt calculation type assets also post execution of the scanner a separate reference catalog source will be created for seed and model file is scanned so when it comes to the seed it's a file structure to populate the dimension or reference table with the static or semi-static data it's kind of a file the prerequisites for configuring a scanner since there is no live connection is available to the dbt tool we don't need any additional permission to run the scanner and we should be able to copy the manifest file from the project target directory so because the manifest file is a source of truth and we need to place that file into the secure agent machine so first we need to copy that manifest file from the dbt project directory and the compiled option should be true to fetch the metadata from the manifest file if you have not run this model file not even once then the compiled option won't be enabled i mean the option compiled option it won't be true then that manifest file won't fetch any details object extracted so using this scanner these are the metadata will be extracted from the model and seed file the dbt calculation dbt folder model package and dbt seed the dbt calculation is a column we used in the model and seed files and folder is a directory we used in the project 
and dbt model is a model name and package is the project name of the dbt and dbt seed is the seed file name used in the project okay the scanner so in this scanner only preview functionality is supported in the april release that is 2024 04 release and only metadata extraction is allowed using this dbt scanner we cannot profile or data quality or relational discovery option we cannot use it that option won't be available for this dbt scanner and you cannot apply any filter on top of the manifest file you place in the agent and metadata extraction from the manifest file that is the source of truth and when it comes to the lineage side lineage data set and data element level is supported for this dbt scanner so this is all about this dbt scanner so we will take you to the demo this is the visual studio code ui where the dbt core is installed you can see the dbt projects which i created for demo purpose under the explorer tab you can directly click on here to expand it you'll be able to see the hierarchies of dbt projects analyzes dbt packages logs macros models seeds targets test etc so from this list of uh, hierarchy list of directories we'll be fetching the metadata of models and seeds okay let me explain about these models and uh, seeds here so as i mentioned in the previous slides models will be of uh, file format dot sql and seeds will be having a file format of dot csv and inside this model the sql select statement will be written to perform the data transformation you'll be able to see the with close and select statement over here and inside this seed model this is a seed model to pull the data from this employee dbt.csv file once the project is ready and you need to execute this project and post that you can get the manifest.json file this is a source of truth you need to get this file from the local directory wherever you install this visual studio code you'll be able to see the path if you hover over this manifest.json file here so this one is located under c dbt workspace dbt preview demo target and manifest.json file you can directly go to this path and get that file and place it into the secure agent machine this is a secure agent machine for uh, our in-house instance and inside this data SIVP DBT directory, I have placed this manifest.json file. And we have a two manifest file available under this path. But with a single scanner, we'll be able to fetch the data from one manifest file at a time. So we need to provide the path along with the manifest.json file name. So let me take you through the MCC page here. This is a MCC metadata command center page where you can directly click on new over here and under the catalog source option you will be able to see the dbt scanner here you can directly search dbt over here it will be selected the dbt preview scanner just click on create it will take you to this page so this is a already created scanner for demo purpose let me take you to the registration page so in the registration page you need to give some meaningful name first and uh, you need to provide the manifest.json file path where this file is placed in the agent so it is under data in dbt directory and the file name is manifest.json click on next and under the metadata extraction tab you need to choose a runtime environment which is up and running and you won't be able to see any option to filter any or any other op options here once it is done you can directly click on save and run it you won't be able to see the profiling or data quality option also here okay this is the stats of uh, scanner dbt execution so you'll be able to see the test connection extraction and bulk ingestion is completed for this run and these are the extracted details 
in the data governance and catalog you will be able to see the extracted details over here dbt calculation and folders which is available in the project model names and pro package name is nothing but the project name and the seed the file name you will be able to see all those details and when it comes to the lineage side you'll be able to see the lineage in data set level and data element level this is a data element level lineage you'll be able to see the age column lineage is shown here and uh, this is the data set level the table level lineage okay so this is all about uh, dbt demo moving on to the next slide you can follow this url to learn more about this scanner please feel free to share your suggestions and feedback using any of these channels thank you